Okay. Well, we'll get there. Ah, even oh, better. Okay. There, I can hear myself now. Um, thanks, Brian, for a great introduction. And I'd like to welcome everybody to the, to the 2014 Foundation Annual Meeting. Um, we were talking as a, as a leadership group last night and thinking back 18 months ago uh, when we met here at the University of Michigan and really the, the formation meeting for the Transmart Foundation. Uh, I think we had, uh, Kevin, I think it was about 35 people that came. And we sat and talked about what we'd really like to accomplish um, over the next few years. And what you'll hear a lot about at the meeting today is what has been accomplished. Uh, and in fact, what is being planned. And if you look at the schedule and the way we've organized this today uh, and for this week, is we're really starting with a, a look back. And by a look back, I want to go back a year ago to the meeting that was hosted by uh, Sanofi in Paris. Uh, look back and see where we were, um, see how far we've come. Uh, we'll sit tomorrow and talk a bit about uh, where where we see things as the key priorities for the foundation. So we're going to get together and talk about the working groups, uh, the 3C committees, uh, really taking the pulse of, of what the foundation and the community is thinking today. And then our third day, we're really looking toward the future. And what I'd like everybody to think about is, you know, thinking about what we've learned from what we've done, where we are, where we need to go. That's really the theme of, of, the, of the meeting uh, as we go. So I wanted to start with uh, a review if I can figure out quite how this works, and I'm sure I can go over here and just do this. Aha. So uh, Sherry Cow is here with me. Sherry, um, who re organ uh, represents the organization who sponsored our last uh, foundation annual meeting, in fact, which was our first foundation annual meeting uh, in, uh, in Paris. And uh, one of the key things that we want to do is, is just review what the, the objectives were of that meeting. So overall, um, we, we wanted to really focus on growing the community. And we were able to attract to that meeting, I think it was just under 100 people that attended uh, in Paris, a uh, beautiful setting. Um, I'm happy to say that one of the key things that we talked about doing and growing the community was we have uh, over 125 people here today. Uh, so we're at least uh, focusing on getting that done. Uh, we really wanted to focus on how we built out the foundation. So the foundation is really uh, an early stage startup. Um, you can really look back to February of, of last year when we organized uh, here at the University of Michigan. Uh, and then going forward, uh, we incorporated the, the foundation uh, in April uh, of 2013. Uh, so that puts us at just under 18 months old. Uh, and so what we've been doing is really focusing on building out that, uh, the foundation itself and, and growing our business plan. And then finally, uh, working through uh, not only the version 1.1 development, which was a key feature of our discussion last year, but also the design and implementation of the next version of the platform. And if you all recall, uh, sitting back, how many of you here were at the Paris meeting? Just by a show of hands. That's fantastic, great. So one of the things you'll notice we did at the Paris meeting is at the end of, of that meeting, uh, we sat down as a group and we went through all the various features for the platform that were available on all the various different branches of the code. And uh, at last count, I don't, I don't see Peter or Terry here, but I think there were 11 or 12 branches that we pulled features from uh, and prioritized those with respect to what we wanted to see brought into uh, the version 1.2. And uh, in going through that, um, what we really felt was, let's get our top priorities set, and then let's work forward from there. Uh, and what you'll hear about in a number of discussions today is, is how that development process uh, went and where we've ended up. But that was really the, the Paris meeting set the stage. Um, when we look back uh, at that point in time, uh, there was actually, I have an older slide of this, which I, I was going to pull, but I didn't, uh, didn't remember it. Um, at that point in time, I think our slide said there were 35 organizations that had adopted Transmart. Um, this slide is now also dated. And uh, you'll hear some more about the number of groups that have already adopted Transmart and those that are. And so in our focus and our objective from the, the Paris meeting in terms of really growing the community, um, you know, was, I think is, is being served. Um, if you look at, this is the 1.1, which had just come out at the time of the Paris meeting. Um, this is for the download statistics from 1.1. 179 organizations, 354 downloads. My, my word cloud isn't nearly as pretty as Brian's. Uh, I don't run a bioinformatics program, unfortunately. I'm just an open source foundation. Um, but I think when you look at the organizations, uh, the thing that's really important uh, for us here is that we see a broad representation across pharma, across academia, uh, uh, across various medical centers, hospitals. It really shows the diversity of this community. And I think that diversity is really 
one of the critical aspects of, of the community that we're building is linking together you know scientists clinicians uh, drug discovery researchers um, uh, you know academic uh, scientists into a community that can share collaborate and, and work together oh yes please I don't know if you can hear me. Um, so just to add this to, uh, sort of diversity, not only type of and organizations, there's also geographical diversity. Yes. It's actually uh, there's North America, there's Europe, there's Asia, there's I see actually a few quite um, quite a few a um, Asian organizations and institutes are also downloads too, which is fantastic. Yeah. No, I think the the global nature has been really key. Um, so one of the things that we have done is uh, since last year. Uh, <laughs> We've done a little bit of, of shifting of the management team in the foundation. Uh, one of the great additions I want to point out here uh, is that we brought uh, Rudy Foten on to, to really start building our marketing function. So Rudy, can you raise your hand out there? Oh, there you are. So here's Rudy, and we're going to talk a bit about um, going forward, uh, how we've rebranded the foundation, what we're doing in terms of marketing, and how marketing is really critical for helping us grow uh, the community that we're working with. Uh, so you'll hear a bit about that as we go along today. Um, and as you'll notice, um, we in fact have a number of, of broad new marketing initiatives that are quite important to us as we go forward. But I want to revisit the, the foundation's goals as we set the stage, not just for where we came from last year, but where we go today. Um, the, the, the goals of the foundation have really been to, to grow uh, and sustain Transmart as a preferred platform for sharing translational research data, to really be the hub for that data sharing. Uh, we want to achieve the goal of linking, you know, nonprofit, academics, uh, industrial, and commercial researchers together into an ecosystem that, in fact, can, can more effectively uh, prosecute drug discovery and, and therapeutic development. Uh, we want to align and grow a vibrant developer network. We'll hear a lot about that today. We have, I think, a wonderful hackathon going as well. And reduce barriers to entry uh, for, for getting there. Uh, and so when we do this, we built out our membership program. Um, if you go back to where we were, um, again, at Paris last year in November, we just initiated our membership program. Uh, today, we have uh, over a dozen members. Uh, we have been able to, to bring together uh, a very large and diverse number of, of groups, including Pfizer, Sanofi, Takeda, from the pharmaceutical side. Um, we have Oracle that's joined uh, from the, the technology side, uh, Deloitte that's joined from the service provider side. Uh, a very diverse group. And then we've also enhanced that with you know, various academics, small companies, um, you know, groups like The Hive and Rancho Biosciences and others. So it's really a great diverse group of organizations that have come together to sponsor the foundation and to work together in building our community. We also have, through, through the efforts that we put together, a lot of different news channels. Everyone, I think, uh, I left my phone on my table. Um, if you look, we have the lanyard site. Has everyone taken a look at the lanyard site that's up for the meeting? Okay. If you look there, um, yeah, <laughs> it's it's a it's a great little spot to to see all the different activities that are going on today. Um, if you're speaking like me, I can see that I have six obligations this morning. Um, but uh, you can go and and tag the events that you want to get to to make sure that you attend those. And more importantly, uh, for your colleagues that are not able to attend. Uh, the various YouTube videos, et cetera, will be made available and linked to that so that you can go back and revisit uh, the activities that you might have missed or that your colleagues might be interested in. So that's a key element of things. The other thing that we did, Sherry, um, in, in Paris, and you can comment on this as you were a, a key part of putting this together, is we began working on our 3C committees. So the 3C committees, to remind you, are the code, community, and content committees. And this is the key aspect of governance for the foundation that helps us uh, get things going, uh, really listen to what's happening in the community. And so Sherry, uh, with Kevin Smith, organized the community committee. Um, and then we have uh, uh, Brian and Sirmon uh, Osheron, who have uh, been organizing the content committee. Uh, and then on the code side, we have E.K. and, and Jay Bergeron from Pfizer. Uh, and that'll be a key part of what we're doing tomorrow, but in fact was initiated at, at the Paris meeting. This is the, the list of features that we uh, we prioritized. Sherry, I don't know if you want to comment on some of the features. You had a major role in, in prioritizing it. <laughs> uh, my role is pretty much just speak pretty loud, I guess, at the time. <laughs> so, um, anyway, I am. Um, this is um, I think at the I, if in if the people at the Paris, I'm pretty sure you all remember that um, 
um, we basically pulled down um, everybody's uh, feature list at the time, and uh, then we, you know, we voted as a as a group or an entire community to prioritize which one to be included, which ones. And actually, I think uh, there's uh, even though I think there's from one to three and the four, I believe. And uh, if you go to the, I well, guess the next slide. Yeah. You can see what happened. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much all the one, two, three, four are all included, and I think it is even more than the entire feature list is more than what we prioritize. So it's been wonderful. No, it's it's always good to to exceed expectations, and one of the reasons we prioritized sitting at the meeting is that we, we have a limited developer resource, and the the challenges of integrating you know code from eleven or twelve different code branches is, is a very serious one. Um, especially when some of those were 1.1 code branches versus 1.0 code branches, et cetera. Um, uh, and the fact that we were able to pull together and, and execute not only all the priorities we had, but there are, there are other features up here like the yes. Gene Data Connector yeah, exactly. that weren't even envisioned uh, and are now part of the platform. Yeah. So uh, I think we'll, we can take this up a, a bit later and you'll hear a lot more about this, but one of the key things that was an outcome of that meeting was the organization of the community into a number of events, hackathons, testathons, um, you know, various community-driven events to develop the platform. And uh, there was, in fact, an enormous amount of community effort. Over 100 in individuals participated in development and testing of the version 1.2 of the platform uh, with, you know, uh, contributions coming from over 20 different organizations across our community. Uh, really a great effort. So. In Paris, we again, Sherry identified for us a, a good path forward um, from there, questions that we wanted to answer. Do you want to? Yeah, I, um, I guess, you know, from this point on, I guess this is really the, the occasion that we set to what are the, the, the questions and main focus that, uh, you know, the, as a community that we're all concerned. Um, here, I just, it, this is a, a list of questions I actually heard personally from talking to different people. And, um, um, it's not an it's not a complete list, and I, I hope in the next uh, three days that uh, we'll hear more um, important questions. As what's the you know now we have 1.2, what's the next development focus? What, where are we going to go on uh, from this point on in terms of the platform? Um, and I also we also heard a lot about uh, what's the best practice to go from pilot to actual production. Um, there will be a, a focus session um, later on today for for uh, specifically addressing that question. Um, you know, a lot. I also heard a lot of questions. Of how are we using the, the platform? What are you doing in your organization? What are you doing? What are your use cases? Um, exchange your use cases. So the example is really to inspire new ideas. Um, you know, the the public data. I think uh, we all know it's a vast treasure, but it's a big treasure trove. But uh, it also comes with a cost. And how you know, since now we sort of got some idea to tackle this public uh, open platform as a community. Can we think of how to tackle this messy public data in one way or another as a community as well? Um, and I think how to grow the use base, uh, user base, it's an ultimate question I hear from, it's a pretty big challenge for many organizations in the audience as well. So I think when we sat down in Paris, I really liked the slides that Sherry pulled out. Was, you know, our, our challenge was to take you know, the Transmark community and the foundation as a whole and the platform from a seedling stage to really a, a full grown stage. And uh, the ultimate goal is to be able to grow this into a really vibrant, mature, uh, and growing multifaceted community. And I think to, to the point of, uh, of our hosts um, last year at Santa Fe, and, and I think this was a great keynote presentation we had, um, the focus there is, is not an end of, of, end of itself. It is really focused on being able to accelerate the development of therapies for patients. And that is one thing that I think we all want to keep our, our, our eyes on in terms of the prize, which is enabling that ultimate development of those things. Great. Great. Thanks, Shane. Thank you. And uh, while, they're, while they're changing the slides for me, I just want to, I want to thank Sherry and uh, Olivier Gien uh, from Santa Fe and David Peruk, I don't know, is Dave, did David make it, uh, Kevin? So uh, uh, David really had a, a key role in organizing the Paris meeting last year. And I really think that the Paris meeting and the success of that meeting kicked us off for the activities that we were able to accomplish over the last 12 months. Okay. So I really want to thank Sanofi for that. 
I'll also point out that Sanofi also was a sponsor of, of some of the hackathons that we did as well uh, to make sure that we could bring developers Thanks. together uh, to do, uh, do the coding that we needed to. So I'll ask Brian to come up and we'll talk a little bit about where we want to